it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video. I'm finally bringing you guys my makeup collection and storage video, the updated version. Um, I did a whole decluttering series on my makeup collection, which I will link down below if you are interested in checking that out. It is um, my makeup breakup series where I go through all of my makeup drawers one by one and weed through everything, tell you what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. Um, it was a really fun series and I am so pleased with the results. My makeup collection is so much smaller now. Um, disclaimer though, my makeup collection is smaller but it's still not small. This is not a minimalist makeup collection by any means. I have a ton. You wouldn't be able to tell that by the fact that I'm not wearing any right now but I promise. I have a ton of makeup. I love makeup. Um, I do a lot of reviews and swatches and things for YouTube but that's not really why I hoard makeup. I just happen to really really enjoy it. So. Um, if you are not a big fan of huge makeup collections, you may not want to watch this. This is not by any means the most huge makeup collection ever. Um, I'd say it's like a medium size when you compare it to other YouTubers, but I like it. I'm happy with it. Um, everything is a little bit disorganized and a little bit messy. I originally intended to do this right after I did that decluttering series so that everything would be neat and clean and organized and then time got away from me and I didn't. So things are a little bit messy and my makeup brushes are not clean. I'm sorry you guys. Um, things are, you know, just a little bit out of order, but gives you a feel for how my makeup collection really is. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I will link everything that I can below as far as the containers and things that I use to store my makeup. Um, hopefully you'll find this helpful and enjoy it. So here we go. So this is my vanity. I'm going to ask that you ignore any mess that you happen to catch in the background. Um, cleaning is in the process and it just is taking a little bit longer than what I expected. So this is my vanity. I've shown it before in makeup collection videos. My husband built it for me. Um, it is just a piece of like laminate countertop that he purchased at Lowe's, measured, cut, and put in between these two units here that you can see. Um, and that's just my little vanity area. It's so works out well for me. My makeup is stored in this Helmer unit. I have got a second Helmer unit here that houses um, some other odds and ends, but no makeup in there. Um, the only other makeup I have is this little caddy here. And um, I will tell you where everything is from as I go through it, but I'm gonna go ahead and start back over here to the left. And I'm gonna take a seat in my chair because I have a herniated disc and it hurts to stand for too long. So here we go. On the left side here is my makeup brush collection. Um, these little pails here came from Walmart uh, back when they first put out all the back to school stuff this year. I got each of those for 10 cents and I sort of wish that I'd have bought more so that they could all match and fit. I tried to fit all my brushes into those two and it was just too crowded so what are you gonna do? Um, my makeup br brushes are dirty, of course, because I'm not organized enough to wash them before a video like this. Uh, they come from a variety of places. Um, I've got some Sigma brushes in there, lots of e.l.f. brushes, some Coastal Sense ones, um, some just various odds and ends that I've gotten at the drugstores. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much more detail than that. Um, I have a video on my favorite makeup brushes uh, that I will link down below if I remember, if you're interested in that. Um, this cup here just has my beauty blender um, and makeup sponges and then um, just some other odds and ends, tweezers, my eyelash curler, that sort of thing. All I've got this little thing that I use as a coaster when I bring drinks in here. I've got some daily brush cleanser from e.l.f. that I've had for a really long time. It's actually pretty dusty. I haven't used this recently, but I used to use it all the time and love it. I just have kind of gotten out of the practice of doing that, so I really need to start using that again, spot cleaning my brushes every time I use them. Um, I've got some hand sanitizer. I got like four or five of these little ones in a basket that my son won for me at a raffle last year, I think. Um, and I'm just slowly making my way through those. Um, also got some Kabuki brushes. This one's um, an, one of the e.l.f. holiday ones from a few years ago. They did a special edition thing. It's kind of useless as far as actually being used, but it's awfully pretty sitting there. I've also got my Kabuki brush from e.l.f. 
um, that is usable and totally soft and wonderful. And then this one I got in an Ipsy bag, and I actually really like that as well. Other things on the desktop are this little um, placemat that I got at the Dollar Tree. I just like to keep this down for any makeup spills, um, spots, that sort of thing. You can see it's very well loved and cleaned often. Um, just works really well, and I can replace it, you know, anytime for just a buck. If it gets too gross, I've got my makeup mirror here, which my husband bought for me and brought home as a surprise gift one year forever ago. I'm not even sure anymore where he got that from, but I love it. It lights up and is, mag um, is magnified on the other side. And I'm slamming it into the mirror behind it. Sorry about that. The mirror behind it came from Walmart, actually. It's just a really large mirror that I um, also use. I think it's really pretty. It's got some lint on it. When I cleaned it, I need to apparently get a lint-free um, cloth. Anyways, also on the tabletop, I have this little plastic martini glass. This is full of all of my EOS lip balms. So there's that. Also got this little caddy that I picked up at TJ Maxx. This is actually two pieces. The top piece is not connected. Um, and it just houses a lot of like my favorite products or products that I'm using all the time. Um, just so I don't have to dig into my drawer to pull things out every single day. This just makes it a little bit easier. So I've got all of my lip liners here because um, it's just the best place I've found to store them. I've got my favorite foundation, my makeup setting spray, that sort of thing, some of my favorite lipsticks, my favorite e.l.f. makeup wipes. Um, the top drawer I keep just face products that I'm reaching for a lot. Middle drawer, more face products, blushes, bronzers. I love that e.l.f. contour palette. And the bottom drawer is just eye stuff. Also here I've got some pens. This side of the um, vanity area is more like crafty type things. I do a lot of um, planning and craft type things and office -y, like bill paying things on my vanity top as well so it kind of does double duty as a desk and a vanity so that side is more office -y stuff. Oh, I'll give you a little peek um, just like washi tape and notebooks and things. Um, I'm not going to go into this though. I'll do that as a separate video though if you guys are interested in seeing how I organize that stuff. Um, and then I've got my collection of pens here as well and a little blush that I need to get a magnet for so I can stick it in my Z palette. Here I have a crap ton of products that are all just sort of thrown in there mishmash style. Um, need to organize this as well. I don't know, I'll get around to it someday. Um, I've got all of my eye shadow palettes in the back of this section here, back behind a couple of beauty boxes that um, are just filled with like random samples and things that I need to go through. Um, I've also got some stuff set aside for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Um, I've got a pencil sharpener here. This is my Erin Condren Life Planner that I don't reach for really very often because I love my happy planner, but I'm flirting with the um, idea of using that more um, in upcoming videos. So if you guys are interested in planning videos and you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I do a plan with me video once a week, usually in my happy planner. Um, but you know, you may see some plan with me videos in that coming up soon. That's the horizontal version of the Erin Condren Life Planner by the way. And then up here I have my perfume collection. I got a request ages ago to do a whole perfume collection video. I do have that on the docket for um, an upcoming video soon, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. So that's everything that's kind of on the outside. Now I'm going to go into the drawers and share with you what I keep in those, how I organize things. It's very, it's very, very similar as to how I had it all set up in my last few um, makeup collection videos, but just a little bit different, a little bit more downsized, so let's go ahead and get into that. So on the top here, I just have some random bits and bobs, um, my little uh, e-reader, some bills and things that I need to file away, um, my old planner that I keep just for reference, um, my glasses case there, um, and just whatever else I happen to toss and any moment. Like I said, um, I originally wanted to do this video right after I did that decluttering thing. That way everything would be organized and clean and pretty, but time got away from me and I didn't. So things are a little bit messy, but 
you know, this is real life, so that's fine. So here's the first drawer. I'm going to go kind of this way, maybe make it a little bit easier. Um, this is where I keep all of my foundations, my concealers, um, extra eye creams and BB creams and all that good face stuff. So I've got all of my concealers here. I've got a few, um, you know, face products that I actually need to put into my bathroom. But I've got extra eye creams here. And then the rest of these are all concealers. So I've got... A ton of concealers, but quite a few less than I had had in previous videos. Um, just sort of working my way through these. A lot of these are all-time favorites, like the Maximum Coverage Concealer from e.l.f. I love that. The uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, one of my all-time favorites. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything because this would just take too long, but that's where I keep all my concealers. And this little insert here is, um, I think it's called an Antonius maybe. Um, I will link it down below. This came from Ikea, as did the Helmer unit where all of my makeup is housed in, and I will link both of these items down below if you're interested. So here I've got um, a few face primers and things like tinted moisturizers and BB creams, just lighter coverage things that should actually be in there as well. Um, I got a few people asking me for a review on this. I can still do that. Um, in a separate video or a blog post, but I'll just go right ahead and say now that it's not my favorite thing ever. Um, it works really well for like a face, um, just SPF, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't have any coverage or anything. I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to. Whatever. Here I've got my foundations. Uh, I've kept very few. This I actually gave a pretty poor review. This CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, I still don't really like it all that much, but I've just been trying to use it up uh, by mixing it with other things and kind of making it work. Um, those are all of the foundations that I have, with the exception of the one or two that I have up on that caddy that I use on a regular basis. Um, not very many at all. I definitely downsized that. Back here I just have a couple of powders. You can see that I really downsized my collection there. And I've got my hydrating under eye primer, my e.l.f. zit zapper, and my e.l.f. eye refresh here, which you couldn't see because I was holding it out of frame. Sorry guys, I fail. But um, that's that. So that's the first drawer. Um, it's kind of full, but not nearly as full as it used to be. And um, I'm very, very satisfied with that. Next up is... The most full drawer in the whole collection, with the exception of my lippy drawer, which I'll get to. Um, this is all of my blushes, and you can see it's gotten a little bit uh, messy since I did that whole decluttering video, but I've kind of kept it organized. Um, it's just all of my blushes, everything that I have. So Fox in a Box blushes, I love these from Hard Candy. Um, lots and lots of e.l.f. blushes. These are all e.l.f. products here, including the e.l.f. blush palettes, which I absolutely love. And I've got some other blushes back here, things from NYC, um, City Color, all really affordable for the most part, with the exception of a couple of Tarte blushes here that I absolutely love. So, um, yeah, these up here are all cream products. I don't really know what else to say. That's my blush collection. It's large and in charge. Next up, I have a relatively empty drawer. These are all of my bronzers and highlighters. You can see I don't have a ton, um, at least when you compare it to my blush collection, but this is still more bronzers than any one person really needs. Um, what can I say? I love them. So I've got lots of e.l.f., um, some Rimmel, some NYC Sunny there, classic. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is the Revlon Photo Ready, which has sadly been discontinued. Um, what else? Oh, Elf, of course. So that's, the, that's bronzers, and then these are all highlighters. I've got this great one from Julep that I like a lot. Of course, more Elf, Elf, Elf. Hey guys, guess what? I like Elf products, did you know? Um, I've got some Urban Decay here, and a little Benefit Watts Up. And that's pretty much it there. Next up, I have, these are eye bases and eyeliners and mascaras, as well as a few eyelash products. Um, I don't really use lashes, but I have this individual lash kit that I bought in an attempt to use lashes um, a long time ago. I've used a few. They're a bit easier than strip lashes, but still kind of a pain, so I don't really use them, but I held on to them anyway because, I don't know, 
<laughs> Anyways, these are all of my eyeliners, everything from pencil eyeliners to cream eyeliners to liquid eyeliners, just all kind of mixed together there. Um, blacks, browns, bright colors, Urban Decay, uh, Elf, um, those are kind of my favorites, and Physicians Formula, a little bit of everything in there, you guys. Um, pencil eyeliners happen to be my favorite, so that's what I have the most of. These are all eyeshadow bases, mostly color tattoos from Maybelline. I've also got a bunch of these long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows from e.l.f., which I love, as well as um, some of the e.l.f. smudge pots in there. Love those. These are eyelid primers, so just e.l.f. There's an e.l.f. one there. Uh, the Lurac um, Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This little one here from Bare Minerals that I got in a Nipsey bag that I love. And then back there are all of my pencil, like stick eyeshadow bases, lots and lots from e.l.f. again. Some Cella, Urban Decay, and I think that's pretty much, oh, there's a couple of NYX eyeshadow pencils in there as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. Next up, I have my eyeshadows. This drawer got so much less full. These are all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes. I've already shown you my larger eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I got rid of a lot here, and this used to be a lot more organized. These are all eyeshadow palettes. Um you know, with trios and more than one. These are all singles back here. I don't know, I can't think today, sorry. Um, and then these are just some eyebrow products. That's not supposed to be in there. That's it for brow products. I don't keep very many. So that's that. Moving back up here, forgot to mention, I just have one um, mascara in back stock. The other one is being used. I try really hard not to hoard mascaras anymore. And lastly is the lippy drawer. These are all of my lipsticks and lip glosses and lip balms and lip stains. Um, I used to have twice this many of these products. I used to have all my lipsticks in one drawer um, and all my lip glosses and balms in another drawer. This was two drawers and it was my goal to condense into one and I did that. I was very very proud of myself. Um, I did a really good job of condensing this. I know it's still a ridiculous amount of lipsticks and lip products, but what can I say? I still love them. Just trying not to be so crazy with the amount that I own. So as far as the lipsticks go, you guys can see lots of drugstore, lots of e.l.f., lots of Revlon, Rimmel. Uh, I don't think I have any CoverGirl lipsticks. I'm not a big fan of CoverGirl products. You guys may have noticed I don't have a ton of those. Um, definitely a drugstore girl. I love me some drugstore products, but CoverGirl just doesn't really do it for me. Anyways, what else do I have in here? Um, my favorites, honestly, are Maybelline and Revlon and e.l.f., so that's pretty much what you're going to see there. I think there's some NYX in there, some Julep. Um, I don't know, you guys can kind of get a better idea of what I have if you watch those decluttering videos, because I go through everything like one by one almost. Um, so if you are interested in seeing like more up close of what I have and what I've kept, um, you can watch those videos. Or I can do a more in-depth video, I guess, if you guys want. Just leave me a comment down below. These are all of my lip balms. They're mostly Maybelline Baby Lips because I love those. They're my all-time favorite lip balms. Um, these are the just happen to be the ones that I really like. I've got some Burt's Bees in there and some fresh sugar ones in there as well, but mostly big lips. These are more lip balms and then just a couple of the J-Cat Wonder lip paints. I absolutely love those. Lipsticks, lip glosses, uh, lots again from e.l.f., um, NYX. I love NYX glosses. Uh, NYC glosses are also some of my favorite. I love those. I think they're very underrated. Um, Coastal Scents one there. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. I've got a Jouer one. And then back here are just my lip, um, like, lip crayons. That's what they're called. So again, lots from e.l.f., Wet n' Wild, uh, Be a Bombshell. What is this? Oh, this is that, uh, Pop Beauty. I love this. Anyways. So yeah, that's that. So that's it, you guys. That is my makeup collection. It's quite a bit smaller than it used to be, um, but I'm really, really enjoying having a smaller makeup collection, and I'm so excited to finally share it with you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Like I said, I'll link everything that I can link down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, because you know I'd love to have you back. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.